shift key on your keyboard. All right, first of all, when you push the space bar, here's another keystroke. When you push the space bar, it highlights this icon. That's your select all icon. Push the space bar. You can draw a marquee around anything in your plan and select everything if you want to. You don't have to hold any keys down. But let's say you wanted to select all the cabinetry in this plan. I want you to understand that most of the icons on the toolbar here will set your selection. In other words, if I select the cabinet icon right here, if I select the cabinet icon and highlight it, the cabinet icon, when I select that and then I hold my shift key down, doesn't matter what mode you're in, hold your shift key and draw a marquee around your plan, the only thing you will select will be the base cabinets. If you select the wall cabinet and do the same thing, you'll select all the wall cabinets, at which, of which you could then change all the elements, or most of the elements of the wall cabinets at once. The color, the style, the door style, the hardware, the trim. Um, you can't change the sizing. And there's some other things you might not be able to change, but it allows you to change a whole bunch of things. You could also copy and paste it from one plan to the next. You could delete it all at once, move it, block it. There's a whole bunch of things you can do. So that, the door icon works the same. The window icon works the same way. The roof icon, if you just want to select roof lines, highlight the roof icon first. Draw a marquee. Hold your shift key down, draw a marquee on your plan. You will be able to select the roof uh, items in your plan. Certain CAD items work the same way. The dimensions work the same way. If you just want to select your dimensions, highlight the dimension icon, and then draw a marquee around your plan, and you will only select dimensions. If you want to delete all your dimensions at once, hit the ruler icon, hold your shift key down, and draw a marquee around the plan. Boom. Hit delete. All dimensions are gone. You can start over if you want to. Do that all the time. So that's your shift key. There's other ways to select things in shift. You can individually select things and deselect things and that works fine. Uh, is it the same in X1? Uh, almost. X1 doesn't give you as many selection icons All right, um, in X1. I think a lot of them are there. In X10, it's even less yet. In X, X10. In version 10, I think it's cabinets and doors and windows uh, might work. I don't even remember. D different versions operate differently, but X1 is fairly close to what you get in X2. X2 is, I think X2 pretty much did almost all of the icons allow you to do that now.